Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I am continuing my Zodiac series here on my YouTube channel where I make a custom nine pan palette based on nowletsgetgoing.com's uh, description of what colors go and do not go together with the different Zodiac signs. So before I show you the palette, I'm just going to give you a quick disclaimer. I know that a lot of people are very like connected to their Zodiac signs and if you are not into the color palette that I make, I'm so sorry. You're always free to leave a comment down below in my uh, comment section if you have anything to add to my palette, like what you would have done instead or what you didn't like and what you did like, of course. Before I show you my palette, I also wanted to just read out to you what nowletsgetgoing.com says about Scorpios. Resourceful, brave and occasionally, okay, more than occasionally, stubborn Scorpio, your style and taste is unmatched and will often keep people guessing. The Scorpio personality is one of passionate, which usually means you should have a wardrobe to match. Keep an eye out for sexy silhouettes in dark purple, maroon, rust and black. Basically, Scorpio, get your Ryan on. Your outfits are completely determined by your intense opinions and moods, so pale and light colors don't align with the way you think. Don't be afraid to mix and match unique pieces. You are an expert at keeping people guessing. Scorpio color palette, violet, burnt orange, pomegranate and black. Scorpio color palette, no-nos, bubblegum pink and white. So with all that in mind, here you have my palette and as you can see, I do have quite a bit of sultry colors in here. Instead of a pure black, I did decide to go for a very deep, very deep cool toned purple, just because for my skin tone, I feel like that is a little bit more flattering and versatile because you can deepen up all of the other shades, the matte shades in this palette with the, that color. And then we have this one, which is super dark gray in the base and it has holographic glitters. This one, by the way, is Patrin Patrina by Divina Cosmetics. This one is Abyss from Pretty's For Your Face. And then we have, this one was not really a part of any of the color descriptions because it's very light, but I did feel like we needed something to blend out all of these colors with and this one works for all of them. So that's why I added this one, which is Ethereal by Divina Cosmetics. Of course, for the reds, we do have a matte and a shimmer. So the shimmer is blazed by Divina. I don't really know if this counts as pomegranate. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but I did see some variations when I googled it. I know what kind of fruit it is and all that, but I wasn't sure exactly what kind of red that was. So we have one that is a little bit more sultry. I think that they mentioned something about maroon so this one is more of the maroon and this one is more brighter like pomegranate i think and then this one is a shifter from uh, m cosmetics it's called flame and you have the rusty color right here and then it also shifts through a little bit of pinky red as well so i felt like that would match very nicely with this color story and make for something a little bit more neutral of course we also have some violets here this one is actually like a lot of different colors. It has a green shift, it looks gray, it looks purple. It's just a super, super stunning pigment. And I felt like that was perfect because it's like the description says keeps you guessing. And this is like one color that I feel like definitely keeps you guessing. Like it's very like mysterious and a little bit crunchy at the same time. And then of course we have this bright, bright purple, which I feel like is very out there and would fit a Scorpio. Also, it was described that a violet would fit. And this one is actually a violet uh, iridescent. You can't really see it here because it's a little bit too light, but you will see it when I swatch them out. So let me just go ahead and do that.
Okay, so here we have the whole color story swatched out and I think it's a very like sultry color story which I feel like is perfect for Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, please let me know what you feel about this. And yeah, I hope that you like it. I'm just going to change up the lighting a little bit to show you more of the shifts. Okay, so here you can definitely see the violet shift in the shade Unforgettable Pollen by Tami Tanuka. It also has like a golden shift as you can see, but it's mostly just violet. And then we have from the shimmers, it's Marble Hall's model. As I said, it's a super, super shifty pigment and I've been waiting for a reason to use this and I'm so excited to finally have this in one of my color stories. It's just so unique and perfect for more Halloween-y or sultry looks like we can do right now in uh, October. Then we have from the other shimmers, it's Abyss. I feel like the multi-chrome sparkles are a little bit easier to see in real life than you can see right here, so I hope that maybe you can see more than I can right now, because <laughs> it's a very, very pretty color. It doesn't really have too much of a base. I don't know if you can see the texture of it right here. I think you might be able to, but it's just a super, super cool color, and it's unlike anything else I have in my collection. And then it's the multi-chrome from M Cosmetics, which obviously is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, Blazed from Davina is one of the prettiest red shimmers out there. It's really a true red, and I love that. But now that you have seen the colors, let's just go into the look that I did. For today's look, I really want to focus on the more deeper purpley shades, at least for the upper part of my eye, and maybe I will go in with the red for my lower lash line, but I'm just going to start off with my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush and I'm going to put this all in my outer V and drag it a little bit further than the middle of my crease, I think. And then I think I will go in with these for the lid and the rest of the crease. So this is Davina Cosmetics Patrina and I have my NARS base on. And I'm just going to focus this to like make it a deeper look and I will put it all over the lid at least on the outer part here because I want that black holographic or multicolored glitter to be on the outer part here and I think I'll just also drag it all the way here. I am just slightly buffing out the edges so that I can layer that purple over it. So I'm taking Colored Rain with Perp Smurf with my S5 brush from Kaleidos Makeup and I'm just going to focus that basically to like overlap everything that I already put down with that deeper shade. So now I'm just going to use the shade Ethereal here as my transition shade. So I'm just going to add that a little bit above right here just to help with the blending because particularly that purple pigment is not the easiest to blend and this will also tone it down a tiny bit. Now I'm just adding a tiny bit more of that purple just to re-intensify and work a little bit with the blending between all the colors here and I will just do the same on the other eye and I'll be ready to go in with the sparkly shadows. I already put glitter glue from BH Cosmetics all over my lid and I'm going to use Pretty's For Your Face Abyss in my outer corner and I'm just making sure I don't have too much glitter glue so I'm just tapping with my finger and then I'm going to start placing this in the outer corner and Probably I'm going to use Marble Hall's model for the inner part of the lid. I just have to see how this one turns out first. Yeah, so I'm just going to take that same brush and a little bit of Marble Hall's model. I'm going to start placing that in the inner corner. Now I'm just going into Patrina, which was the darkest shade, and I'm just going to go right over the edges right here to make sure it's dark. So I finished off my face makeup, except for my highlighter, so I'm going to do that very soon, but I'm just going to do my lower lash line first. And I did decide to go with the red, 
So I think I'll just try to connect with the upper part of my eye using a little bit more of that deepest shade as well as the red shimmer and the red matte. So here I just took a little bit of Patrina and I'm just, as I said, going to connect right here. And then I'm just going to clean my brush with my color switch and I'm going into the red. Now I'm just going to add some glitter glue both in the inner corner for that iridescent purple shade and the red shimmer right here. So I'm just taking a small brush and putting unforgettable pollen in my inner corner. It's just this beautiful super super purpley iridescent sparkly topper shade. And now I'm taking Blazed from Davina and I'm just going to put that all over the lower lash line right here. And then I'm just going to reapply the shade Frantic from Lethal, the red one. And now I'm just using a clean shader brush and I'm just going to wipe away fallout. And I'm just going to work a tiny bit more with the blending right here in the edge and then I'll show you the close-up. So that was my finished look using my Scorpio palette and I really like this color story. It's almost a little bit valentine -y, but just a little bit more sultry maybe. And I personally really liked playing with it. I feel like there's so many things you can do with it. You can like go ahead and use only these for example for a look and you can make like a more muted look with those. Or you can go for the reds. You can deepen it up here, you can use the purple. There's just a lot of things you can do with this. Of course, you are limited to red and purple and more grayish looks, but I really like it. As for the other products I used for my face, I ended up using my BH Cosmetics Vanilla Orange Blush Palette, but I used the deepest shade. So if it looks a little bit patchy right here, then that's why, because that was pigmented and I was not able to blend it out completely. It was a little bit better on this side. And I do really like the color, but it is a little bit too deep for me, so I need to be really careful when using it. <laughs> and then I used my NYX Push Up Lingerie lipstick in the shade Exotic, which is like one of my all-time favorites. It's just this vampy, beautiful burgundy shade. And then my highlighter is actually the lightest shade in the ABH. Oh, which volume is it? It's the mini palette, this one with the cherries. I just used the iridescent shade right here because I feel like that's one of the shades that are a little bit like more close to iridescent red because I don't really have that. I should probably get Terra Moon's Red Giant but you know they're really expensive and I have similar stuff so we will see. Anyway I guess that's it for this video. Please give me a comment down below what you thought of this look and this palette and of course don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I do these videos every month and I do a lot of content with single shadows and a lot of sparkly stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.